Well, kia ora folks. I was reading the uh, September-October edition of the Harvard Business Review and there was an article that caught my eye around innovation and the reason that it caught my eye, it was around uh, the Ford Motor Company in the 1990s, how they really led that SUV market uh, with the Ford Explorer. And the reason it caught my eye is because we owned a couple of Ford Explorers through the early 2000s uh, to mid 2000s, or Ford Exploders as one of my mates used to call it. And Ford led the charge in that market and that allowed them to uh, have an additional $30 billion worth of profit in that category over the 10 years from release. And I just wanted to tell you about the two simple things that they did and then get you to think about those and how they apply to your business. We owned a couple of explorers over the years, so I think I'm pretty well qualified to talk about them. Um, when they were initially developed, they were based off an agricultural vehicle. Uh, they were pretty spartan when they first came out. Uh, they were a heavy motor vehicle to handle. They were pretty heavy on the fuel consumption. Uh, they had good towing capacity, um, a good safe feeling when, they, when you drove them. They had the ability to roll a tiny bit, and they didn't get the name Ford Exploder just by chance. So all those things you think, how could Ford actually go to the market and how could they dominate that SUV market for 10 years? And it was two simple things. One was they focused on the functionality of the motor vehicle. So in those days, pre-SUVs, it was sedans and minivans. So they focused on the functionality for the home user and then also the message to market around functionality. So a simple question to ask yourself is, you know, what time are you spending looking forward, looking ahead for your business, pardon the pun, uh, looking ahead for your business, um, how are you thinking about innovation, and then how do you get that message to market? Hope you took something out of that. Until next time, catch you later. Bye-bye.